strange artifact. Within the space of a few decades, the way children understand and experience... Oh, sorry about that uh, background noise. So if I'm working here in the cabin or driving or something like that, I'll often have an audio book in the background. Uh, currently, right now, what I was just listening to is The Last Child in the Woods by Richard Louvre. You know how much I believe that nature is very, so important. It's our home, it's who we are, that we really need to connect. In fact, I think everybody needs to reconnect with nature, big or small, whether you live in a city or in a cabin in the woods. I'm going to call it basically the first week of the 53, let's call it a 53 week uh, path to self-reliance or steps to self-reliance because I think this is one of the, the more important ones that uh, self-education, entertainment, reducing stress, all in one package basically through reading and through listening to audiobooks on Audible. The library of books is vast. Anything, any genre you can think of, basically whatever you'd find somewhere else in the bookstore or in a library you'll be able to find it on Audible. What I do love about Audible is that it's seamless integration between all my devices. So I'm, I use Apple products. So I've got my iPhone here and I also have an iPad and a Mac. And some of these devices are quite old, like my iPad. I don't know how old that is, eight years or something. And I still have the original books that I downloaded onto it because I can check into my account anywhere from any device. I'm happy to offer this because, like I said, I've been a member for so long and I'm such a big believer. Uh, Audible's offered a free audiobook to all my viewers. So if you go to audible.com forward slash myselfreliance, that's audible.com forward slash myselfreliance. So A U D I B L E dot com forward slash M Y S E L F R E L I N C E. You can also just text myselfreliance to 500 500 and you can start your 30 day free trial. So just like you bought a book in the store, once you buy a book from Audible, it's yours for good. So if you become a member and then for some reason you let your membership lapse or you decide it's just not for you or you just don't have time to, to listen to books anymore, then um, those books that you already purchased belong to you and you get to keep them forever. So I really encourage you to go to audible.com forward slash myselfreliance and sign up for the 30 day trial membership and uh, get your free book and start um, on that path to self-reliance and hopefully at this time next year we're having a completely different uh, story or you're in a completely different place that uh, you always dreamed about being in.
turmeric, Bragg sprinkles, which if you go down into the description below, you can get a link to where we get it on Amazon. The dried onions and my favorite hot peppers. These are actually peppers I grew two years ago in my garden. I didn't dry any last year, but I just hung these to dry. And they're uh, beautiful little things. And black pepper. Lots of it, I love it. It's hot. Plus, those hot peppers on my hands are starting to affect me. It's touched my nose and now that's hurting. Can't believe how much heat stays in those things even after a couple of years.
You having fun? <laughs> Are you having fun, Callie? Cleaning up the dishes and uh, sweeping the floor, get all this sawdust and stuff out of here. It's only two o'clock in the afternoon, but I'm happy with what I got done today. You know, something I don't know if I've ever talked about on the channel is uh, just, well, I, I've said it in different ways, I guess, and sometimes it sounds maybe a little bit condescending or unfair to people who can't uh, or don't, don't have the ability to do, do things, maybe physical uh, limitations or or uh, financial limitations or something like that. So I don't mean to insult people when I say you need to get up and, and motivate yourself to get out and do something and try to get outside into nature. Uh, but I realize not everybody can do that. But what I do is at the end of every day, I look back and reflect on what I got accomplished in that day. And then the following morning I get up and I make a plan for the day and I decide what I'm going to do but you probably notice that I don't really get an awful lot done here each week and the reason for that is that I want to have balance in my life so equal parts of work and play family time time with the dog time with nature and if I've accomplished something each day I'm happy but, on the other hand, if I don't do anything, if I don't accomplish anything, if I just sit around and, and don't really do much of anything, I'm really disappointed with myself. And I think that's a, actually a healthy attitude. You know, life is short. And 
I don't want days to pass by where I haven't contributed something meaningful to my life. Of course, things that are meaningful to me are probably not the same things that are meaningful to you. But for me, like I said, accomplishing something. And for me, at this stage of my life, it's accomplishing another step in my path to self-reliance, to path of living this simple lifestyle. And the only way I can do that is to get this place finished and get some of the other projects around here done. But I don't want to blow myself out doing that. I don't want that to be the only thing I do with my life. So here I am at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm happy with what I got accomplished today. It wasn't much, but it was something. I can go to bed comforted in the fact that I did something meaningful, I did something productive, and that life is not passing me by. So I'll, what I'll do is finish cleaning up here probably within the hour, maybe 3 o'clock, and then my wife and I will go out for a snowshoe through the woods, take Callie for a long walk, maybe take the uh, cameras out and see if we can find some wildlife to photograph or sunset to photograph because it looks like it's clearing up nicely. should be a nice sunset tonight.